次。Hey guys, it's Joel, and uh, welcome back to the channel. And welcome, as you can probably see, to August in England, which, um, as you can tell, doesn't always seem to be the best month for weather. So yes, welcome to this video. And uh, maybe I should take some of the advice that you guys have been giving me, saying I should do more travel videos and uh, definitely go abroad very, very soon. Anyway, this video I want to talk to you about a modification I've made to my Z4, and. Um, I can't believe it's, it's, it's made a world of difference and I, I can't believe it's taken me until now to do it. Uh, but what I've done is I've ditched the run flat tyres that this car comes with and changed the tyres for conventional tyres and I've gone for Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric 3s, uh, which is a name I'd never heard of until a couple of days ago when I had them done. But like I say, I cannot believe the difference it's made to this car. Um, it's completely transformed it and I, I guess it feels like it's actually liberated the car and it feels like it's doing what it was designed for now. Anyway, without boring you too much, let's get straight into the things that have improved. that it's unusable or anything like that, it's totally usable, but it is rather uncomfortable when you go over bumps and anything like that, which I guess is to be expected, but it is quite bad. But anyway, long story short, it is so much softer now. It feels like I'm driving on cushion, but I cannot believe the, the, the difference. Also, along with that, uh, it, I think it's quieter as well now. Um, and again, never really was a loud car, but the road noise and the tyre noise is definitely reduced. The second thing I want to mention about changing from run flats to conventional tyres on this car is the fact that this car is now just so much more grippy and the, the rear tyres that I had on the car which were run flats before I got them replaced were like you know getting towards needing replacement, replacement anyway so perhaps that had a little bit to do with affecting the grip anyway but I, I must say the, the grip this car has now got with these Goodyear tyres is insane I can go around corners at twice the speed like it before maybe a slight exaggeration but when you're talking 40 miles an hour I could probably go around the corner at 60 so it's a massive massive uh, improvement in addition to the grip of this car Something else that fits in quite nicely with the additional grip is the steering. So in sport mode this car is quite responsive and it's electronic steering as you know. But it is, it's even more responsive now. You literally point and shoot and beforehand it wasn't quite as good as that. There was a little bit of a delay. But the really interesting point is that BMW won't tell you this. BMW will recommend that you do not change the tyres with run flats because the suspension uh, was designed for run flats with this car. However, I did a lot of research in the forums beforehand and everyone dismissed this theory and said that they hadn't altered the suspension of the car it felt so, so much better after changing it to conventional tyres. But it seems odd that BMW would tell you otherwise. The other intriguing point as well, uh, along with that, is that the Z4M, which is like the super daddy of this uh, Z4, it's like the ultimate Z4, um, they, should I say, BMW scrapped run flats when they made that car. So obviously, that, in my opinion, that says it all. If they designed the ultimate Z4 with conventional tyres, then maybe all of these cars, like what I'm driving now, should have been on conventional tyres to start with. Also, another massive plus uh, with having conventional tyres now is they are cheaper to replace. And just to give you an idea of cost as well, to change the rear two tyres to run flats, just the two rears, would have cost 
cost me about £50 less than changing all four to the Eagle F1, which I did get. And they're not the cheapest tyre, they're quite an expensive tyre, the Eagle F1s. So run flats are crazy more expensive, almost twice as much per tyre. Um, so I've definitely saved money long term there if I keep this car for long enough that I need to replace another set. Now I'm raving about all of the uh, benefits from having these uh, new Goodyear tyres. However, I have only had them a few days now and I guess I haven't tried them in all conditions. But even today, this is the wettest day we've had since I got them and it is gripping amazingly. I thought perhaps the wet performance wouldn't be so good, but I'm still able to go around corners as you can probably see from some of the footage I'm overlaying. Uh, faster than I was before even in the wet and that's not what it's all about because the brakes have definitely improved as well um, but yeah it's, it just makes this car such such more pleasure than it even was to drive um, so absolutely no regrets there but yeah the tyres have transformed this car so much that I now really 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 have got the urge to take this on a track day I think I think I'm thinking um, Brands Hatch would be a really good place for this car because I've been there before and it, it, it's quite a short track and it, it's probably, this is about as fast as you would need for that track, but if you have uh, taken your Z4 on a track day and uh, it's somewhere that you want to suggest, please leave a comment below. Now obviously there are negatives, or I guess one main negative to not having run flats is, well it's fairly self-explanatory, the run flat tyres are designed so that you can still use them should you get a puncture but that might just get you home but you still have to replace the tyre nonetheless and obviously if I do encounter a puncture with these it will incur some cost as well but ultimately it won't be as much I guess the likelihood of getting a puncture is just slightly higher but yes as you would probably expect from the title of this video the, the grip, the responsiveness, the ride quality and also braking and safety in general uh, has definitely, to me, definitely seems to have increased and got a lot better since changing these tyres. And I, I genuinely cannot believe the amount of difference it has made. But yeah, in my head it's a no-brainer and I'll say it again, I can't believe I haven't done this modification until now. Uh, I think if you've got an E85 Z4, which is this model, the 2003 to 2005, the run flats need to go. It has completely transformed the car. I can't imagine ever going back to run flaps now. Now I may be, <laughs> I may be taking that statement back when I get a puncture on the motorway somewhere and I'm stranded. But touch wood, that won't happen. Touch wood, that won't happen. Um, but yeah, I can't speak on behalf of other cars. But if you do own one of these, get rid of the run flat tyres. Uh, stop waiting and, and chuck on some proper tyres instead. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a bit more uh, tailored to people who have Z4s or maybe even anyone who has uh, cars and run flats. I have been trying to film um, slightly more variety of videos, but the weather has just been really, really terrible recently, as you can see. Uh, thank you so much as well to the response to the video I did last week um, on five things I hate about my Z4. That's like the best video has ever done for me in, in a week. So I thank you so much for that. Thank you for your comments. I take them all on board and I respond to all of them as well. But yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me. Leave a comment. Again, I respond to all of them and I, I really like to hear what you guys think. And also leave a comment if you've got any track day suggestions for me. And finally, if you do want to see more, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button as well so I can tell you every time that I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.